From the Weather NorCal Command Center, this is your Siskiyou County Neighborhood Forecast. Everything Medical has been your complete source for medical supplies since 2007. Our 10,000 square foot showroom has the largest selection of home medical equipment in the North State. We have what you need. Everything Medical, Athens Avenue, Reading. Well, I hope you're having a good start to your Monday. It looks like we are going to see that heat advisory continuing for Siskiyou County through Wednesday night, as a matter of fact. But we do have a gradual cooling trend this week with minimal chances for rain in the overall. Let's take a look at those heat alerts. And there you can see that heat advisory in effect until 11 p.m. on Wednesday. Now, here's what I will say about this. Temperatures were hot over the weekend. If you were here in Siskiyou County over the weekend, you know what I'm talking about, right? But temperatures are going to start off slightly cooler, but it's going to take a few days for this heat to get out of here. As you can still see, we're well into the 90s, uh, mid to upper 90s for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. But you see how we're seeing temperatures kind of really drop toward the end of the week. And even though we'll be above normal, we're getting closer to normal, around 86 by Saturday, 87 degrees by the time we get into Sunday. Now, take a look at your hour by hour forecast today. You have these temperatures going up. Now, we're dodging the triple digits, but barely, I think, in some spots here. And we take a look at that big ridge of high pressure that's in place, low pressure up over Canada, low pressure over the Gulf of Alaska. And you've got this ridge of high pressure, which is pretty much keeping all that energy up to our north. Now, there aren't really any thunderstorms in the forecast, but that being said, we can't rule it out. We've seen it the last few afternoons and evenings, uh, but you can see here today, not much in the way of cloud cover being indicated by future cast. As we go into Tuesday, we may see a few clouds kind of pushing on through, and this is when we could start to see some thunderstorms popping up. Very weak ones, very small ones. They won't last for very long. They'll probably kind of pop up right before sunset, and then as we get closer to sunset, they start to die down. Now, Wednesday, not showing much in the way of cloud cover, but we'll have to certainly be on the lookout for that. I want to show you the long range because if we go into Thursday, long range is picking up. Now, remember last week, we were talking about this potential, and then it kind of died down, and chances were kind of getting slimmer. As we look at some of the forecast, long range forecast models, I am seeing some better indication that by the end of this week, we may see some more thunderstorms popping up in parts of Siskiyou County. Uh, maybe not necessarily on Friday, but the, there you can see some of the clouds. It's picking up on something. So we have to be on the lookout for that as we go into the latter part of the week. Now this weekend, I'm not seeing much activity here and that'll probably continue even into early next week. So you can see some of the clouds moving in, but overall, really just not much rain or even thunderstorms in the forecast. It'll be very spotty if they should develop in the late afternoon hours. So here's your forecast. Now, mainly below 100. You have to head some, some places off to the west like Horse Creek and not to mention Happy Camp uh, around 100 degrees. But you head to Wairika and uh, there's Granada about 98, 97 degrees for Gazelle. And then these temperatures actually may be increasing a little bit. And again, that's why we do have that uh, heat advisory. But there you can see Greenview, 96 also for Etna. This is looking at Scott Valley with 94 for Callahan and Fort Jones about 93 degrees. Let's take you off to the east where you can see 94 for Weed, Tennant about 88, uh, Tule Lake about 91, and McLeod about 94 degrees. So looking at that 7A forecast for Mount Shasta, you see how the temperature is actually increasing slightly for your 4th of July before the temperatures do start to drop. We're in the mid to upper 80s for Friday, Saturday, and then Sunday, a high of 87 degrees.